Hi everyone, this is Udi from DIYphotography.net and today we will show you three gimbal moves that look like million dollar shots but cost nothing to produce. If you've ever seen a high budget movie, you know that some of the magic is in how the camera moves. If the director of photography did their job well, the camera will move seamlessly from one position to another. But when you think about it, there is actually no way that the camera could do some of those moves. Take the chase shot from the RAID 2 for example. I mean, there is no way the camera just floats in the air like this, right? And this is what we'll do today. We will look at how to create three shots that defy gravity all with zero budget. All you need for these shots is a gimbal, we'll be using the Manfrotto 300XM, and some pipes and cables, the handover. In the handover, the camera closes in on a subject. It starts from far away in a wide shot and establishes a location. Then the camera slowly closes in on the subject until it gets extremely close. Here's the thing though, the camera flies through a window between those two positions. This effect can be quite claustrophobic if you close in very tight on your talent, or it can just be an interesting way to start your story. While this shot may be seem impossible at first, it is actually a very easy shot to create. All you need are two gimbal operators, one to handle the exterior shot and one operating waiting behind a window. The first operator starts walking towards the house and once they arrive at the window, they hand over the gimbal to the hidden operator who then completes the shot. The Fisherman Despite the name, there are no fishermen in this shot, but once I go over this shot, it's easy to see how it got its name. In this shot, the camera starts very low and follows the talent through a flight of stairs. Remember that scene from Mission Impossible where Tom Cruise descended to the super secured safe and the camera follows? Something like that, only in reverse. This is a great shot to add some suspense to a movie talent. While the fisherman is not as easy as the handoff, you can still pull it off with almost no budget. All you need is a short pipe or a piece of wood, a laundry pulley and some cables. Lots of cables. Start by mounting the gimbal to the pipe. Here, we are using the Manfrotto Move Quick Release which we have prepared in advance, so we can start shooting ASAP. Then, put two ropes on each side of the pipe and run them through the pulley. We are doing that to make sure that the gimbal does not move sideways. You'd also want to make sure that the camera has quite a few secure connections to keep it safe. Now, you secure the pulleys to a rail and gently pull the camera up. I love the 300XM because you can control the gimbal using a remote as it moves on the cable. The middle shot. Our last shot for the day flies a camera over a car. Now, you could do this with a drone, or you can use the middle shot, where we use a long pole to get a gimbal precisely in the middle over a car. And again, we are using the move quick release to get the 300 on the pipe. We are also shooting upside down to work with gravity and not against it. For this shot, we got two operators, one of each side of the car, so the gimbal is standing right in the middle. This allows us to slowly go up and look at the driver. Then we can fly the camera over the car. This is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you got some tools to put in your creative box. Now hit the like button, the share button, the sub, just hit all the buttons on the screen. This is Udi Tiroche from DIYphotography.net and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Oh, <laughs>